Hello everybody. Today we are going to continue practicing exponential and logarithmic function equations, lesson 3.4. And I prepared it for this few questions at the end of the lesson, practice at the end of the lesson. And let's see. This is a problem solving, a real life problem. And let's remember that when we have to answer this kind of questions, don't be curious to read the question all. Read it little by little. Understand what is the given information and what do you look for. And underline the keywords and convert them into symbols. Let's see. The table shows, which means this table, so if we take a look here, it is given information about website traffic, month, January and number of hits, so in January and April. Shows the number of hits a new website received by the end of January and the end of April of the same year. Point A. If the number of hits is increasing, so as we can see here, from 125 to 2000, this means there is an increase. At an exponential rate, Identify the continuous rate of growth. So from here we understand that we have to work with a continuous compound. So we are going to write the rule for it, which is A equals P times E to exponent RT. In which, let's remember, A represents the, be the balance, the final amount. And P is the principal, the initial amount. T is time and R is the rate of growth. So when here we have an increase, the rate of growth is, should be positive. Then write an exponential equation to model this situation. So from the given table, we understand that the final amount is 2000. Then instead of A, we are going to put 2000 equals the principal, the initial amount, it's 125 times e to exponent r, it's the rate of growth and it is not given, and t it's the time. So the time from January to April, February, March, April, there they are three months, so time equals to three. So instead of t, we can put three and it will be three R. We can get it into the simplest form. We can simplify by 125. So finally, it will be E to 3R equals to 2000 divided 125 with 16. So this is going to be our equation. In the second question, they say, use your model. So the model was 2000 equals 125 times E to exponent 3R. So use this model to predict the number of the months. So how many months? It will take for the website to receive the 2 million hits. So now we are going to look for time. But to do this, that we can find the time, we have to solve the equation to find the rate of growth. So as we did before, over 125, it will be 16 equals e to 3r. Use the logarithm because the base in the power is e, we will put lin of 16 equals to 3r. Over 3 on both of the sides, it will be r equals lin, 16 over 3, 
which equals 0 0.924. And the model was A equals the initial 125 times A, the rate 0 0.924 times the time. So use the model to predict the number of the months. It will be find the T, the time, to receive 2 million hits, it's the final amount, so instead of A, we'll put the 2 million, equals to 125 times E to exponent 0 0.924 T. Simplify by 125. Two thousand over one hundred twenty-five. Here we found sixteen, so it will be one six zero 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 sixteen thousand equals e to exponent zero point nine two four t. Use the inverse of the power, which is logarithm, because the power has base e. We lose ling of sixteen thousand equals to 0 0.924 T over 0 0.924. So the time it will be, so let me just plot it on the calculator. So lin 16000 divided by 0 0.924, it is equals 10.47 months. So after approximately 10 months and a half, there they will be received 2 million hits. Let's try more. The table shows the revenue from sales of t-shirts and other memorabilia sold by two different vendors. So we have vendor A and we have the vendor B during one week after the World Series. Question A. If the sales are decreasing, let's have a look. The sales invent by the vendor A from 300,000 decreased to 37,000 and here decreased to 49. Identify, it means we have to find the continuous rate of decline. So because it's continuous here given, we understand we have to work with continuous compound, which is A equals P times E to RT. For each vendor sale, then write an exponential equation to model each situation. So I'm going to apply the continuous compound for both of the vendors. So I will write it for vendor A first. A, we said this is the balance, the final amount, which is 37,000. So I will split it into two parts, vendor A and vendor B. So it will be 37,000 equals P, it's the initial, which is 300,000, times E, the R, we don't know it, the annual rate, we don't know it, times the T, the T time, it is given by the days, and from 0 to 7, we have 7 days, so times 7. We can solve the equation, and find the annual rate. So over 300,000. Simplify by zeros. It will be 37 over 300 equals E to exponent 7R. The inverse of the power we said is lin, so it will be lin of 37 over 300 equals to 7R. And we will divide by 7. And this it will be the rate for the vendor A. I will name it RA. Put all of this value on the calculator. We will get that 
rate for vendor A, it will be equals lean 37 divided by 300 all over divided by 7, it will be equals negative 0 0.2989. So I will take it to 99 nine approximately. And we can say the equation for the vendor A, it will be A, the final, the balance for vendor A, it will be equals the initial 300,000 times E to exponent negative 0 0.299 T. So we found the equation for vendor A. In the same way, we will find the equation for the second vendor. And we will write the initial value, it is given 200,000 and the final it is 49,000. So I will put 49,000 equals 200,000 times E, the, the rate of decay, we don't know it, and the time it's the same seven days, so times seven. Solve for the R, we can simplify by 1000, so it will be 49 over 200 equals E to exponent 7R, lean of 49 over 200, it will be equal 7R, so divided by 7. This it will be the rate of decline for the vendor B. So RB, it will be equals, I will put it on the calculator, so lean 49 divided by 200 and divided by 7. It will be negative 0 0.2009, so I will take it to 0, 1. And the equation, it will be balanced, the final for vendor A, it will be equals 200,000 times E to exponent negative 0 0.201 T. So this is the equation for the second vendor. We go back, so we answered the, the first question. Question B, use your models to predict the World Series sales by each vendor four weeks after the series ended. So from here we understand that time equals four weeks. But remember that equation for the model in the equation for the model, the time here was calculated into days. So this time it is given into days. So we cannot work here with week. One week it has seven days. Then for four weeks, it will be four times seven, which equals 28 days. So then for the time, we will substitute with 28. So they say, use your model to predict the sale after the four weeks. So I'm going to take this one and instead of this time, the initial value it is given, then we look for the final one, the balance after 28 days. And all we have to do is to substitute instead of time to put the 28. So it will be 300,000. times e to exponent negative 0 0.299 times 28 days. All we have to do is to put the value on the calculator. We cannot do this alone. So 300,000 times e to exponent negative 0 0.299 times 28 equals
So after 28 days, 69.376 dollars. Now I will do the same thing and find the sales for the vendor B and it was AB equals 200,000 times E to exponent negative 0 0.201 times 28. So 200,000 times E to exponent negative 0 0.201 times 28, which equals 719.15 dollars. The last question, will the two vendor sale ever be the same? Be the same, it means equal. So if so, at what point in time? So then we will put equals between the two equations obtained and we will find, let's see if this is possible. So it will be 200, 300,000 times e to exponent negative 0 0.299t equals 200,000 times e to exponent negative 0 0.201t simplify by 100,000 so it will be 3 times e to exponent negative 0 0.299t equals to 2 times e negative 0 0.201t. And we have to solve this exponential equation. We have to bring the variable t in place of the base. Then we are going to use the lean on both sides. And the properties of logs. So here we have the product property. We can expand it into lin3 plus lin e exponent negative 0 0.299t equals, we do the same thing here, lin2 plus lin e to negative 0 0.201t. Use the properties of exponents, always uh, of logarithms. The exponent goes outside the log. So it will be lin3 minus 0 0.299t equals lin2 minus 0 0.201t lin, lin e. It is 1, so we don't have to write it here. Solve for t, so minus lin2 and plus 0 0.299t, it will be here equals 98t, 0 0.98t, so 0 0.9, 0 0.098. equals lin3 minus lin2, from which time equals lin3 minus lin2 all over 0 0.098. And this it will be, so lin3 
minus ln2 over 0 0.098, it will be equals time 4.13, seven, so approximately 4.14 days. After approximately four days, then there it will be the same sale. Let's practice more. On page 196, we have the exponential equation. So we can check first, we have to check first if we can use the one to one property to solve it. The base for the first power is 5 over 6, it's simplest form, we cannot simplify it more. But we take a look here 36 over 25. 36, it's the square of the 6, and 25, it's the square of 5. So all of it, we can write it 6 over 5, all square. But when we take a look in the first power, the base is of 5 to 6, and here the base is 6 to 5. That we can use the 1 to 1 property. We need the same base. So I will keep the first one. And the second one, it will be 5 over 6, all to exponent negative 2. So then we go back and we will write it. 5 over 6, all to exponent 4x equals 5 over 6 to exponent negative 2 and all of it to exponent 9 minus 6. The base is the same, so we can simplify it. We don't have to keep working with it. It will be 4x equals distribute the negative 2, so it will be negative 18 plus 2x. Solve for the x minus 2x. It will be 2x equals negative 18, which means x equals to negative 9. Let's try more. Question number 9. The number of people P in millions using two different search engines to serve the internet T weeks after the creation of the search engine can be modeled by. So P1 equals 1.5 to exponent t plus 4 and p2 equals 2.25 to exponent t minus 3.5. Remember that when you have to work with problem solving, first of all you have to understand each letter, each variable, what does it represent in this question. So we said p it's the number of the people, and the t, it's time in weeks. During which week, so the question is find the time where time, it is weeks, did the same number of people, so these people, this number of the people was the same, this number of the people. So the same, it means we have to write equation and between the two kind of people, two peoples, we have to put equals. It will be 1.5 to exponent t plus 4 equals to 2.25 to exponent t minus 3.5. So first of all, we check if we can use the one-to-one -one property. Uh, very easy to see that here base 1.5 and here base 2.25. So we check if we can write it with the same base. Remember that 225, it's the perfect square of 15. And here it's a 2.25, so it will be 1.5 square. So we can rewrite it with the same base. It will be 1.5 to t plus 4 equals, so as we said, 2.25, it's 1.5 square, and all to exponent t minus 3.5. Same base, simplify by it, equals between the exponents, it will be 
t plus 4 equals distribute 2t minus 3.5 times 2 is 7. Solve for the variable. So it will be 2t minus t, t equals 4 plus 7, 11 weeks. So after 11 week, weeks, the number of the people use, it will be the same for using the search engine. Same number of people. Question 17. 7,000 times lean age equals negative 21,000. First of all, we get the equation in simplest form, so we have to solve for log. So divide both of the sides by 7,000. It will be lean h equals negative 3. From here, solve for h, it will be e to negative 3 equals to h. So h equals 1 over e cubed. Negative 18, based on the logarithm, it cannot be 0. So this equation, it's a very simple observation, yes? The base... In the log, it cannot be zero, so this equation has no solutions. Question 21. They say, if all other factors are equal, the higher the displacement d in liters of air per fuel mixture of an engine, the more hours a horsepower h it will produce. Produce the horsepower of a naturally aspirate, aspirated engine can be modeled by so h equals log base 1.003 of d over 1.394. The question is find the displacement. The displacement it is d. When the horsepower it is given to 100, the horsepower is represented by capital H. So instead of H, we will substitute with 200 equals log base 1.003 of D over 1.394. So we have the simplest form in both of the cases. From logarithm, we will convert into power, so it will be 1.003 to exponent 200 equals d over 1.394. Solve for d, it will be 1.003 to exponent 200 times 1.394. And then D equals 2.537. It's a logarithmic equation. As we said, first of all, we have to check the simplest form on both of the sides of the equals. So the left of equals the expression, it is given in simplest form, condensed form, but in the right side, the expression, it is not given in simplest form. So we will condense it using the properties of logs. In this case, we'll use the quotient property. So it will be log base 11 of 3x equals log base 11 of x plus 5 all over 2. The log, the base in the log, it's the same. Then we can simplify by it. It will be 3x equals 
x plus 2 over x plus 5 over 2 times 2 on both of the sides. So 6x equals x plus 5. 5x equals to 5. So from here x equals to 1. We need to get its simplest form, so the, the, the variable is in place of the exponent, so this is an exponential equation. First of all, we need to solve for the power. This term contains the power, so we will do plus 0 0.3 and we'll get 0 0.75 e to exponent 3.4x equals... 80.1 plus 0 0.3, it will be 80.4 over 0 0.75. It will be e to exponent 3.4x equals to 80.4 over 0 0.75. So we got it power, simplest form. Now we can use the inverse of power, which is log. As long as the base of power it is e, we'll use the lin. So it will be lin of 80.4 over 0 0.75 equals to 3.4x. Simplify by 3.4. Finally, x equals lin 80.4 over 0 0.75 and all of it divided by 3.4. This all, you can put it on the calculator. Uh, this is an exponential equation too because the variable x is in place of the exponent. But in this case, we cannot use the property one to one to solve because the bases are different and they cannot be re rewritten with the same base. So in this case, we are going to use the log on both sides. So. To solve for the variable, we need to bring the x down in place of the base from the exponent. So we will put, we can use log, common log on both sides, or we can use the lin. I'm going to use now the lin. And the properties of exponents, of the logs. The exponent always goes outside the log. So it will be negative x minus 2 times lin 6 equals to negative x minus 1 times lin 9. Now we distribute negative x lin 6 minus 2 lin 6 equals distribute negative x lin 9 minus lin 9. Call it the x terms, so I will move this one to the left side, it will be x lin 9 minus x lin 6. And collect the constant terms, it will be equals to lin 6 minus lin 9. We cannot simplify the expression, but we can factor it. x is a common factor, so x times lin 9 minus lin 6 equals, get the simplest form condensed, so exponent came, the factor it came from the exponent, it will be lin 6 squared minus lin 9. Solve for the variable, divide by this expression, lin 9 minus lin 6. So we can write that x equals
So we have to condense here. 6 square is 36, and we will apply the quotient property, lint 36 to 9. Remember that 36 over 9 equals to 4. So it will be lint 4. over lean 9 over 6 simplify by 3 it will be lean 3 over 2 question 57 2 e to 5 x minus 7 e to 2 x minus 15 here it is written e to negative x exponent. Converted into positive exponent, it will be 1 over e to x. So it will be 15 times 1 over e to x equals to 0. Multiply all by e to x, it will be here. e to 5x times e to x, it will be 2 times e. 5x plus x, it's 6x minus 7 times e, 2x plus x, 3x, minus 15 equals to 0. Use the substitution method and write let e to 3x equals to a. The e to 6x, it can be rewritten re re uh, using the e to exponent 3x. So it will be e to 3x, all of it square, which equals e to 3x, we said it's a, it will be a square. So instead of working with exponential equation, I will convert it into polynomial equation. So it will be 2a square minus 7a minus 15 equals to 0. To solve a polynomial equation, we have to factor it. So then this we are going to try now. To factor, we use the x method. And we have 2 times negative 15. It's negative 30. Down we put the coefficient for the a, which is negative 7. And now we think about two numbers when we multiply product is negative 30, when we add is negative 7, and the two numbers are negative 10 times 3. When we multiply negative 30 and we add negative 7 over the 2a, over 2a. Simplify by 2, always remember to put the simplest form. So, from the first fraction, the factor is a minus 5 times, from the second fraction, 2a plus 3 equals to 0. Use the zero product property. So, first factor equals to 0. From here, a equals to 5. And from the second one, it will be a equals negative 3 over 2. Remember that a is equals e to 3x. So now we have to go back. Instead of a, we put e to 3x equals to 5. Solve for the variable. It will be lean uh, 5 equals to 3x. So over 3, x it will be equals. From the second one, e to 3x equals negative 3 over 2, and this is not solution. It is called extraneous solution. Negative 3 over 2, it is solution for the equation with variable a, but it's not solution for our equation. So we check if both of the sides, they are expressions in the simplest form. So the first one, the left side, it is in simplest form, but the right side, we have to condense it. So it will be log. This is common log without being written any number in place of base. It means the base is 10, which is called the common log. So x plus 6 equals log 8x over 3x plus 2. 
The base in the log is the same, so we can simplify by it. It will be x plus 6 equals 8x over 3x plus 2. First of all, we put the condition of existence of the fraction, find the domain here. So denominator do, does not equal to 0. From here, x does not equal negative 2 over 3. This is very important. And now we can use the cross product. So x plus 6 times 3x plus 2, x times 3x, it's 3x squared, x times 2, 2x, 6 times 3, 18, so 2 plus 18 plus 20x, and 6 times 2 plus 12, equals to 8x. Get its simplest form, standard form, it will be 3x squared plus 20 minus 8, 12x, plus 12 equals to 0. Simplify by 3. So x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 0. This is a special binomial, so it's x plus 2 squared equals to 0, from which x equals negative 2 multiplicity of 2. Now let's check. Can it be x equals negative 2? Yes. As long as it is not equals negative 2 over 3, this is solution. Thank you.